Hey, what's up you guys? This is Spyderco64 back again with a <clears throat> another NASCAR Authentics review. Uh, and I got for all of you is a car from Wave 3. Uh, I've been trying to been looking for a lot of Wave 3 cars. You know, including the trucks and stuff like that. Hasn't been all that lucky, but hopefully I can find the trucks. Just hopefully I can find the trucks. Otherwise, kind of in a big situation right here. So anyways, yeah, oh yeah, this is Ryan Blaney's Roval win right here. Yeah, the car that made history right here. After Jimmy Johnson, um, you know, spun after both Jimmy Johnson and, you know, um, Martin Truex Jr. wrecked, Ryan Blaney came out of freaking nowhere and just wins the Roval. I mean, that right there, that was the best finish I think I've ever seen. I think um, in NASCAR, you know, in NASCAR. That may be the best finish in NASCAR history. A lot of people say, say it's the 1979 Daytona 500, but this one I think tops it off a little bit more. But yeah, anyways, I uh, got race version. He got the Roval Trophy. He got Ryan Blaney right there. A happy Blaney with that mullet. So I got Ryan Blaney. Charlotte Moore Speedway, Bank of America, Roval 400 winner, Concord, North Carolina, September 30th, 2018. On the back, it says the date once again. Time of race, three hours and all one minutes, 34 seconds. Starting position was ninth. Total laps, 100 and uh nine miles 2.4 2 4 8 point 52 miles they they did it in kilometers so if you're any of you're wondering caught number of cautions eight for 16 laps laps led by winner he actually didn't win a stage in this race he led 16 laps margin of victory 0 0.792 seconds driver career win this is his second career win in the cup series you know, actually, you could have a lot more if the team can put together a good a good race car. You know, that's just the case. I mean, I would actually expect... I mean, I knew Blaney was going to win a race last year. But, I mean, just come on, Blaney. You got to step up your game, man. I mean, I really love... I really like Ryan Blaney a lot. He's a really good race car driver. And he has one of the best young driver personalities out there. You know, and stuff like that. He's better than others. That's for sure, you know. I mean, some drivers are just a wooden box or just a wooden uh, fence, you know, just plain boring, you know, and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, considering that this driver does drive for Team Penske. So, yeah, so basically this is the um, the Pennzoil Menard scheme, which is one of my favorite um, Ryan Blaney schemes, and it did carry on to this year, you know, stuff like that. And yeah, just I really, you know, like this scheme a lot. But also, you. But also, if you're our, if any of you have the diecast, either it's one sixty four scale or the one twenty four scale, you would know. Okay, this car, it's pretty dirty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just so. I mean, there's so much damage. Like, I mean, race damage to this car. That's just like what the like. Well, like holy shit, you know, like. You know, and stuff like that. So, with that being said, let's take a quick look at the sponsors. So, on the hood, we got Pennzoil. We got the Ford Fusion Nose. You know, let's see if you could get a better look. Yep, there you go. And then you got the Splitter, which is the Monster Energy Green. And you got some red in there. This side, Goodyear. You got your good tires. Mog Mahal, Lincoln Electric, Edlock, Mechanical Word, K&N. The Penske cars this year have, don't have any... Contingency sponsors, which I'm actually kind of wondering why Anyways, you got the Ryan Blaney emoji right there, which I mean doesn't look too bad I mean, I remember a lot of people last year were really pissed off. I mean, okay The emoji thing isn't that bad, but the white box kind of kind of kills it, you know, it really does And a lot of people do hate round of 16 this and the green sp spoiler and the Splitter, I mean those are kind of racing purists. So who gives a shit? So yeah, yeah, number 12, uh, Rich, Richmond Water Heaters, Kalf, Menards, Pennzoil. And number 12, you got some confetti. And you got some sponsors there on the deck lid on the back. Yes, yeah, someone hit him right here. I wonder who that was. I mean, he did have a good battle between Alex Bowman and I think Clint Boyer in the last few couple laps. So, yeah, same thing on the other side. Now let's go over the damage on this car. 
So the front of the car, if you can see, it's pretty... There's a lot of uh, dirt buildup, rubber buildup. Front of the car has that too, and there's a little... The decaling is pulling, peeling off right there. On the other side, it got some more tire rubber buildup. And on the side, there's a lot of damage, you know. I mean, that does roll well. A lot of people made contact with one another, so this is probably from it. You got also got the wheels right here, a bit of damage there as well. Yeah, there's a lot of damage. Some damage right here, or it's just some scuff marks, you know. But, uh, yeah, the t but this looks pretty clean. This looks pretty clean, too. And, obviously, you got the confetti. And on the back, you obviously can see, yeah, right here, someone hit him in the rear. I wonder who that was, you know, and stuff like that. Now, on the side, you got some other damage and stuff like that. You got the exhaust thing right there. You got some scrapes right here. Yeah, you got some more scuffs and marks right there. Yeah, just an absolutely a crazy race right there. I mean... Yeah, just this was a just I remember watching the first uh, NASCAR race at the Roval. You know, not I'm not saying in person, but watching it on TV. I mean, this was just um, I mean, this was something new that NASCAR was trying to do. I mean, we basically we can basically take we did a road course in the playoffs and we basically took Charlotte Motor Speedway and made, we made it into a Roval. And that was one of the best races last year from last year. You know, and stuff like that. That is just, um, yeah, it was just, um, yeah, it was a great race. And I really think that, uh, that just these, um, I really do hope that the hype for the, um, and I'm really hoping that this year's role is going to be good. You know, I mean, um, I mean, we're, I mean, really excited to see. This race continue on and on and on because this is, I mean, I think the Charlotte Roval, it's here to stay. And, and hey, Ryan Blaney won the first Roval ever, so kudos to that. So, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what do you think. And I will see all of you in the next video. See you guys later.